Hello everyone, a warm welcome to all of you in the today's session on EduTap and a warm welcome to all of you for the top 50 MCQ session in which we are going to cover the top 50 MCQs from the month of October 2023 and this is the part 1 for the month of October 2023 my dear friends all of you are welcome to the today's session so all of you are requested to give me a thumbs up in the chat box if I am audible and visible to all of you so that we can begin this particular session so I'm waiting for your responses my dear friends please give me a thumbs up in the chat box if I am audible and visible to all of you so I'm getting some responses from the students here so my dear friends let me tell you that today we are going to cover the top 50 general awareness MCQs which are relevant for RBA grade B, NABAT grade A and the SEBI grade A exam so when we talk about this session in this session we will be revising everything that we have covered in the past two weeks of the month of October 2023 and what is the best way what is the best way to revising the content that we have already covered in the fast track sessions the best way is basically by solving the mcqs and that is why we at edutap have brought up this particular session for all the aspirants and my dear friend let me tell you that all the people who are appearing in the nabad grade a exam phase one on the 16th of October, let me tell you that this session is really going to be very, very helpful because we will be covering here October 2023 part one. OK, so before starting the session, there is an announcement for all of you that we at EduTap are providing the comprehensive guidebooks to all the aspirants of RBA grade B, NABAD grade A and the SEBI grade A exam. When I talk about these guidebooks, these gives you the definitive answers to all the queries that pops up in your mind as an aspirant. These queries can be regarding the exam, it can be regarding the preparation for the exam and it can also be regarding the body in which you are targeting to enter. For example, when I talk about the Reserve Bank of India, so what is the role that RBI plays in the Indian economy? What exactly when I talk about the preparation or the exam, so what is the pattern of the exam? What is the detailed syllabus of the exam? When I talk about the preparation, so what are the sources that you should follow in order to clear the exam? So all such kind of things are being provided to you in this particular guidebook. So what are you waiting for? Can you download the guidebooks from the link given in the description of this particular session? So good evening Rani, Swanti, I believe that all of your preparations are really going well and my dear friends, I will be beginning with the session but before that there is an announcement for all of you. First of all, you have to make sure that you all have a blank paper pe, apne marks ko yahan par calculate kare out of 50 that what exactly was the score and you have to tell me at the end of the session that what exactly was your score in this session out of the 50 marks and also tell me in the chat box that what exactly is the right answer to the question that I am asking in the upcoming part of the session okay question number one if you think that option a is the right answer type a in the chat box that one slash a okay i hope this is clear to all of you so good evening everyone once again and let's begin the session with the very first question and the very first question here is on the name of the mobile application which has been recently launched by the rec limited so my dear friends rec limited a mobile application called launch here hai, under which it is offering investors complete details of their investment in the rec 55 4 EC bonds. So first of all, you have to tell me the name of the app which has been recently launched by the REC Limited. So what is the right answer? Power REC, Invest REC, Bond Viewer, Sugam REC or the REC Mobile. I'm waiting for your answers my dear friends in the chat box. So here I can see that Mohit, Swanti, Tulsi, Rohit, Rani, everybody is saying that it is Sugam REC. Absolutely, option D is the right answer. So now my dear friends when I talk about these REC 54 EC bonds basically ye section 54 EC ke bonds hain jo ki ek tarike ke fixed income financial instruments hain jo provide karte hain aapko exemption in the tax under the capital gains and it provides such kind of facilities to the investors under the section 54 EC of the income tax act so this was all from which that we are required to cover from the exam point of view let's move on to the next question next question is on the 37th edition of national games so aapke samne question hai ki wo kaun si state hai jo ki 37th edition of national games ko host karne wali hai is it kerala karnataka maharashtra goa or the west bengal what is the right answer here so my dear friends let me tell you that the previous edition of these games were being taken in the indian state of gujarat but this year it is not the gujarat it is the goa which will be hosting the 37th edition of the national games absolutely right option d is the right answer so when i talk about the 37th edition of national games my dear friends let me tell you that this year we are coming up with the new 
sports that means some new sports are making the debut in this edition of this particular national games like we have the golf we have football we have roll ball we have kalyar pattu etc so these are the different games that will be deputed under the 37th edition of the national games which will be hosted in the goa moving on to the next question so which date is world dis world dyslexia day so world dyslexia day hum kaun si date ko celebrate karte hain is it 1st october 5th october 8th october 10th october or the 12th october that is the question for all of you quickly tell me in the chat box what is the date on which we celebrate the world dyslexia day and it is october 8th so my dear friends on the 8th of october we basically celebrate the world dyslexia day now a question for all of you my dear friends for all of you please tell me in the chat box that what is the date on which we celebrate the international day of girl child international day of girl child is being celebrated on which date what is the right answer here on which date we celebrate the international day of girl child we celebrate it on the 11th of october absolutely right vishal has given me the right answer that is 11th of october on which we celebrate the international day of girl child and i always tell you that whenever you are covering the important days you have to remember that what exactly was the theme of that particular day agar hum baat karte hain theme for the international day of girl child it was invest in girls rights our leadership our well being so this is the theme of the international day of girl child which is being celebrated every year on 11th of october and here rohit rani neha all the people have given me the right answer well done my dear friends let's move on to the next question next question we have the world cerebral palsy day 2023 so sabse pehle aapko ye batana hai ki what is the theme of the world cerebral palsy day for 2023 agar hum baat karte hain kis date ko ise celebrate kiya jata hai it is being celebrated on 6th of october okay and what was the theme the theme for the world cerebral palsy See, day 2023 is together stronger. Option C, together stronger is the right answer. Moving on to the next question. So here you have to tell me the name of the organization just ne recently partnership ki hai AI Etihad Payments ke saath for the domestic card scheme under which what they will be doing they have collaboration they have collaborated to implement the domestic card scheme in the UAE and you have to identify that what is the name of that particular organization jisne ye partnership ki hai and whenever there is a partnership there is an MOU you have to remember the name of the party which are involved between which the MOU has been signed and apart from that you have to remember that what exactly the aim of that MOU was so my dear friends the aim is basically for the implementation of domestic card scheme in the UAE and what is the name of the party the name of the party is absolutely it is NIPL that is NPCI International Payments Limited this is the right part okay so here we can see that they will be working together to build implement and operationalize the UAE's national domestic card scheme and under this scheme they are aiming to facilitate growth of the e-commerce jo hamare digital transaction se UAE ke andar aur jo growth hai e-commerce ka usko hum badhane wale hain and that was the aim of this particular MOU moving on to the next question the next question is on the defense exercises and the next question is on the sampriti exercise you have to tell me that what exactly was the venue of this year exercise that was the 11th edition of the sampriti exercise sabse pehle exercise kis country ke beech mein hui thi it was being conducted between india and bangladesh to ye do countries ke naam hai ye exercise hui kahan par hai ye aapko batana hai chat box ke andar this was the 11th edition which is being conducted between india and bangladesh and the name of that place where it was held is umroi meghalaya and apart from that let me tell you my dear friend that recently exercise varun also take place this is being conducted between india and france recently youth abhyas youth abhyas exercise was also uh, taken place and it was conducted between india and usa i hope this is clear to all of you so my dear friends i believe that this is clear to all of you absolutely right now there is a question for all of you please tell me the name of the country with which india conducts ikartha exercise plus acuvrin exercise so these are the two exercises with which country india conducts these two exercises this is a googly question for all of you what is the right answer the right answer here absolutely it is maldives now there is another exercise that is nomadic elephant 
कैन यू टेल मी बिटवीन विच टू कंट्रीज दिस एक्सरसाइज इज बिंग कंडक्टेड नोमेडिक एलिफेंट सो नोमेडिक एलिफेंट कौन सी कंट्रीज के बीच में हो, होती है ये आप सभी के लिए एक होमवर्क है मुझे बताइएगा कमेंट सेक्शन के अंदर आफ्टर द एंड ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर सेशन ओके लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन माई डियर फ्रेंड्स द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन यू हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई द नेम ऑफ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन जिसने इशू किया है इंडिया का पहला ट्रिपल ए रेटेड इंडियन रूपी डिनोमिनेटेड सोशल बॉन्ड Which aggregated 1,040.5 crore. What is the name of that organization? Let me tell you that this is really very important question for all the NABARD aspirants who are preparing for the NABARD grade exam because this particular social bond has been launched by the NABARD only. Okay. Apart from that, my dear friends, NABARD has also released 1,074 crore rupees to the Rajasthan. under the RIDF that is a rural infrastructure development fund absolutely this is the right part so here we can just reconnect these two different uh, news articles and we can make sure that yes we remember all of them from the exam point of view moving on to the next question so who has been elected as the president of the maldives so maldives ke recently ek naye president elect hue hai what is the name of that person it is quite a very very direct question my dear friends what is the name of that person that is option e dr mohammad muzu that is the right answer dr mohammad muzu is the right answer absolutely right option e is the right answer so shivani tulsi neha akash rohit all the people have given me the right answer moving on to the next question please tell me the name of the state jahan par india ka pehla high tech sports training center launch hua hai divyangjans ke liye what is the name of that particular state where the prime minister has inaugurated india's first high tech sports training center for divyangjans and it is basically the name of the state is madhya pradesh it is the state where so my dear friends the madhya pradesh is that particular state jahan par recently usko mila hai seventh tiger reserve jiska naam hai virangana durgavati and it is also the same state jahan par omkareshwar ke andar we are setting up the statue of oneness that is ekta mata ki pratima okay and madhya pradesh is also the same state which is having the maximum number of tigers in india और अगर हम टाइगर्स की बात करते हैं तो इंडिया का 54th टाइगर रिजर्व 54th टाइगर रिजर्व कहां पर था राजस्थान के अंदर उसको रिसेंटली बनाया गया है एंड व्हाट इज द नेम ऑफ दैट दैट इज धोलपुर कुरली टाइगर रिजर्व ओके सो दैट इज द राइट आंसर इन दिस मैनर वी कैन जस्ट रिमेंबर द डिफरेंट न्यूज आर्टिकल्स वेयर द मध्य प्रदेश वॉज देयर इन द न्यूज आई बिलीव दिस इज क्लियर टू ऑल ऑफ यू माई डियर फ्रेंड्स लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज ऑन द ट्वेंटी सेवंथ वर्ल्ड रोड कांग्रेस विच इज हेल्ड इन द प्रे एग्जेक्ट रिपब्लिक सो प्रे एग्जेक्ट रिपब्लिक के अंदर यहां पर ये नई कॉन्फ्रेंस हुई थी दैट इज द वर्ल्ड रोड कांग्रेस आपको बताना है कि क्या थी उसकी थीम वॉट एग्जैक्टली वॉज द थीम so the theme for the world road congress was together on the road again together on the road again was the theme for this let's move on to the next question the next question is on the 69th wildlife week 2023 and whenever there is a week you have to remember that what is the duration of the week when it is being celebrated and what is the theme of the six this particular week so here in the news it was the 69th wildlife week 2023 which is celebrated by the national zoological park so what exactly was the duration and what was the theme of the 69th wildlife week 2023 so the duration of it is basically 2nd to 8th of october 2023 and the theme for the 69th wildlife week 2023 is partnerships for wildlife conservation and absolutely this is the right answer ऑप्शन बी इज द राइट आंसर टू द क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन सो अगला क्वेश्चन आप सभी के सामने फ्रॉम अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट मीट दैट इज द आरबीआई बाय मंथली मॉनेटरी पॉलिसी स्टेटमेंट व्हिच हैज बीन रिसेंटली रिलीज्ड एंड दिस मीट वाज बेसिकली हेल्ड बिटवीन सिक्स टू एट ऑफ अक्टूबर सो माई डियर फ्रेंड द क्वेश्चन इज वॉट इज द प्रोजेक्टेड रियल जी ग्रोथ रेट ऑफ इंडिया फॉर इयर ट्वेंटी लेट मी टेल यू दैट दिस क्वेश्चन इज वेरी प्रोबेबल टू बी आस इन द एग्जाम सो यू हैव टू टेल मी दैट वट एक्जैक्टली इज द राइट आंसर वॉट इज द प्रोजेक्टेड रियल जी ग्रोथ रेट ऑफ India for the year twenty three twenty four. Absolutely right. It is the six point five percent. And can anybody tell me what was the policy repo rate as per the RBI bi monthly monetary policy statement, which has been released recently? What was the policy repo rate? What exactly it was? It was six percent, six point five percent, seven percent, six point three percent. Can you tell me the policy repo rate was once again? 
6.5 percent absolutely this is the right answer now my dear friends there is another very important update for all of you that world economic outlook has been released for the october 2023 edition of the world economic outlook has been released can anybody tell me the name of the organization which comes up with the world economic outlook the name of the organization which comes up with the world economic outlook the name of that organization is international monetary fund absolutely international monetary fund is the right answer imf and my dear friends now the sabse zyada important thing is that we have to remember that what is the gdp growth rate for india and the what exactly it is at the global level agar hum baat karte hain india ki if i talk about the india for year 2023 gdp growth rate for year 2023 2023 के लिए इंडिया का जो ग्रोथ रेट है इट इज बेसिकली बीन 6.3 परसेंट एंड इट इज सेम फॉर द ये 2024 ट्वेंटी दैट इज 6.4 परसेंट सॉरी 6.3 परसेंट ओके तो 6.3 परसेंट इज द इंडिया जीडीपी ग्रोथ रेट फॉर बोथ 2023 एंड 2024 ट्वेंटी राइट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट व्हेन आई टॉक अबाउट द ग्लोबल ग्लोबल इकोनॉमिक ग्रोथ रेट देन इट इज गोइंग टू बी थ्री परसेंट for 2023 and 2.9% for year 2024 absolutely this is the right answer now when i talk about the advanced economies advanced economies ki agar hum baat karte hain it is going to be 1.5% for 2023 and it will reduce to 1.4% in year 2024 absolutely this is the right answer my dear friends now when i talk about the emerging market and the developing economies can anybody tell me what is the growth rate for year 23 and 24 let me tell you that it is going to be the same for both year 23 and 24 and what is it it is 4% for both 2023 and 24 now there comes another very important my dear friend that we tend to forget from the exam point of view to cover that part and that is basically global inflation global inflation let me tell you that from the on the very first page of the world economic outlook it has been mentioned here on the website of imf that is why we are covering that so global inflation rate ki agar hum baat karte hain it was 8.7% in the 2022 2022 and it is going to be reduced to 6.9% in 2023 and further reduced to 5.8% in 2024 please note down these points to all the people who are preparing for the nabard grade exam because this particular value can be yours in the exam and i have written all the important points that you are required to remember from the exam point of view from the world economic outlook october 2023 update released by international monetary fund absolutely this is the right answer let's move on to the next question so which bank has recently partnered with the fintech startup five to launch india's first numberless credit card let me tell you my dear friends whenever we do any kind of transaction jab bhi hum koi transaction karte hain online transaction and it is always it always tells us ki agar hum प्लेटफॉर्म को पहली बार यूज कर रहे हैं तो हमें क्रेडिट कार्ड का नंबर ऐड करना पड़ता है ओके लेट मी टेल यू व्हाट इफ देर इज अ क्रेडिट कार्ड व्हिच इज नॉट हैविंग एनी काइंड ऑफ नंबर प्रिंटेड ऑन इट देर इज नॉट एनी काइंड ऑफ सीवी भी प्रिंटेड ऑन इट so let me tell you my dear friends such kind of card has been recently launched along with the five which is a fintech startup and this particular thing has been done by the bank which is the axis bank option d axis bank is the right answer absolutely i can see all the people are giving me the right answer in the chat box so axis bank is the name of the bank which has come up with such kind of initiative as you can see here that there is no card number no expiry date or the cvv which is printed on it and hence it reduces the risk of identity theft and that's why this particular step has been taken by the axis bank along with the five that is the fintech startup absolutely let's move on to the next question so my dear friends the next question is on the theme of the 8th brics international competition conference which is hosted by the competition commission of india so here basically you have to answer across the two dimensions first of all you have to tell me that what is the theme and what is the venue of that particular conference okay so first of all what was the theme the theme for the 8th brics international competition was new issues in the competition law and policy dimensions perspectives and the challenges jab hum baat karte hain is conference ko conduct kahan par kiya gaya tha where it was conducted it was conducted in the new delhi that is the right answer moving on to the next question my dear friends so he dr samia suluhu hasan she has been honored an honorary doctorate by the jnu you all know the name the jawaharlal nehru university but question is she is the first women president of which country ye kaun si country ki pehli women 
प्रेसिडेंट है साउथ अफ्रीका नाइजीरिया तंजानिया कीनिया एंड घाना वॉट इज द राइट आंसर गाइज इट इज ऑप्शन सी एब्सोल्यूटली ऑप्शन सी इज द राइट आंसर दैट इज तंजानिया सो माई डी फ्रेंड्स कैन यू टेल मी द नेम ऑफ द आई आई टी द नेम ऑफ द आई आई टी विच इज गोइंग टू सेटअप इट्स फर्स्ट फॉरन कैंपस इन तंजानिया बेसिकली इट विल बी सेटिंग दैट अप इन द जंजीबार तंजानिया सो कैन यू टेल मी द नेम ऑफ दैट आई आई टी वी हैव कवर्ड दैट पार्ट इन सो मेनी टाइम्स इन अवर प्रीवियस सेशन एंड दट इज द आई मद्रास so iit madras is going to set up its first foreign campus in tanzania apart from that let me tell you that iit delhi will be setting up its first foreign campus in abu dhabi uae absolutely right this is the right part when i talk about the uae it is going to it is going to host the machine can see summit okay apart from that it is also going to host the cop 28 summit okay so that is the right part absolutely abu dhabi uae ke andar hone wala hai uae will be conducting the machine can see summit and the cop 28 summit this year absolutely this is the right answer let's move on to the next question so my dear friends there is a particular program that is a help which has been recently launched and you have to tell me the name of the state which in where this particular program has been launched and a particular blank has been given in this particular question and here it is asking basically what exactly h stands for in the help so a help <coughs> so my dear friends here a help stands for accredited agent for dash and extension of the live livestock production program theek hai isko launch kisne kiya hai department of animal husbandry ne launch kiya hai and this question once again becomes very very important for all the nabad gade exam Experience. So, what is the right answer? Basically, the name of that particular state where it has been launched is Jharkhand, and here H stands for health. So, once again, I am telling you, wherever you find such kind of acronyms, please make sure that you are remembering their name. अगर a help की full form पूछी जाती है exam के अंदर, what will be the full form? That will be accredited agent for health and extension of the livestock production program. And कहाँ पर इसको launch किया गया है? इसको launch किया है Jharkhand के अंदर. Absolutely, option C is the right answer. So my dear friends, he क्या करेगा? It will be empowering the women by engaging them as accredited agent who contributes significantly to disease control, animal tagging, and the livestock insurance. Absolutely right, my dear friends. Now, can you tell me that where is in which state the first Atal Innovation Center for the Fisheries will be set up? All the people who are preparing for the NABAD, can you guys tell me? Atal Incubation Center for the Fisheries, where it will be set up and which state it will be set up. Let me see who will tell me the right answer to this question. Absolutely, Akash, Tulsi, Neha, all the people are telling me the right answer. That is Kerala. There is a Kufos, where it will be set up in the Kerala. Absolutely, this is the right answer. Moving on to the next question. Next question is basically on exercise. That is a national cyber security exercise. This was recently organized. Kiya hai National Security Council Secretariat. Ne. So you have to tell me, my dear friends, the name of that exercise and what exactly. और ये जो एक्सरसाइज लॉन्च हुई है ये कौन सी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के साथ पार्टनरशिप में इसको लॉन्च किया गया है सो व्हाट इज द नेम ऑफ द एक्सरसाइज एंड व्हाट एग्जैक्टली इज द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन विद विच द नेशनल सिक्योरिटी काउंसिल सेक्रेटेरिएट हैज लॉन्च दिस एक्सरसाइज इन पार्टनरशिप एंड वॉट इज राइट आंसर द राइट आंसर इज भारत एन सी राष्ट्रीय रक्षा यूनिवर्सिटी इज द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो माई डी फ्रेंड्स बात हो रही है साइबर सिक्योरिटी की दैट मीन साइबर सुरक्षा की तो सुरक्षा की जिम्मेवारी कौन लेगा राष्ट्रीय रक्षा यूनिवर्सिटी राष्ट्रीय रक्षा यूनिवर्सिटी इज द राइट आंसर एंड द नेम ऑफ द एक्सरसाइज इज भारत एन सी एक्स ट्वेंटी मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज ऑन द मेरा युवा भारत माय भारत रिसेंटली एक तरीके का प्रोग्राम लॉन्च किया गया है बाय द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया यू हैव टू गो थ्रू द स्टेटमेंट एंड आइडेंटिफाई की कौन सी स्टेटमेंट यहां पर करेक्ट है पहली स्टेटमेंट कहती है कि ये जो मेरा युवा भारत है इसको लॉन्च किया जाएगा ऑन थर्टी अक्टूबर ऑन द नेशनल यूनिटी डे next question my dear friends it is going to benefit the a youth in the age group of 15 to 29 years in case of program component see uska ek 
प्रोग्राम कंपोनेंट भी है जिस जो कि स्पेसिफिकली एडोलेसेंट के लिए यूज किया है द बेनिफिशियरीज विल बी एज इन द एज ग्रुप ऑफ फिफ्टी टेन टू ट्वेंटी नाइन ईयर्स सो हेर यू हैव टू टेल मी दैट विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स आर करेक्ट काइंडली सी दीज फैक्ट्स विच आई हैव ऑलरेडी अंडरलाइंड एंड प्लीज आइडेंटिफाई विच स्टेटमेंट इज करेक्ट हेयर वी हैव ऑलरेडी कवर दैट पार्ट इन द फास्ट ट्रैक सेशन आई थिंक दैट इट विल बी वेरी ईजी फॉर यू टू आइडेंटिफाई द Correct part here. So absolutely right, my dear friends. Here the right answer is option A. That is only one and two are correct. ओके okay? अगर हम बात करते हैं स्टेटमेंट नंबर थ्री की ये जो एज ग्रुप आपके सामने मेंशन किया गया है देर इज अ फॉल्ट इन दैट एज ग्रुप इट इज बेसिकली गोइंग टू बी टेन टू नाइनटीन इयर्स एंड नॉट द टेन टू ट्वेंटी नाइन इयर्स दैट इज वाई दिस पर्टिकुलर स्टेटमेंट वॉज इन करेक्ट लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन सो लेट मी टेल यू माई डियर फ्रेंड्स दैट रिसेंटली अ न्यू प्रोटोकॉल फॉर द मैनेजमेंट ऑफ माल न्यूट्रिशन इन चिल्ड्रन इट हैज बीन लॉन्च एंड यू हैव टू टेल मी द नेम ऑफ द मिनिस्ट्रीज विच हैव प्रिपेयर दिस न्यू स्टैंडर्डाइज प्रोटोकॉल जब भी ऐसा कोई प्रोटोकॉल बनता है तो आपको आइडेंटिफाई करना होता है कि वो कौन सी मिनिस्ट्री ने लॉन्च किया है कौन सी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ने डेवलप किया है और उसका एम क्या है एम हमारे सामने बिल्कुल सिंपल है हमें मैनेज करना है माल न्यूट्रिशन को चिल्ड्रंस के अंदर माल न्यूट्रिशन को एलिमिनेट करना है बट व्हाट आर द नेम ऑफ दोज ऑर्गेनाइजेशन द मिनिस्ट्रीज विच है this particular part so it is basically the minister of women and child development and the minister of health and family welfare which will be doing part see my dear friends what we are talking about we are talking about the malnutrition malnutrition kiske andar childrens ke andar to kaun si ministry kaam karegi ministry of women and child development jo ki child ke liye kaam karti hai apart from that this particular uh, thing malnutrition se kya hota hai hamare जो बच्चे हैं उनकी हेल्थ पर इंपैक्ट पड़ता है तो कौन सी मिनिस्ट्री काम करेगी दैट इज द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ हेल्थ एंड फैमिली वेलफेयर एंड दैट इज वाई तो राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ई दैट इज बोथ बी एंड डी एब्सोल्यूटली दिस इज राइट आंसर यस आशा यू विल बी गेटिंग द पीडीएफ बट और राइट नाउ यू आर रिक्वायर टू फोकस ऑन दिस पर्टिकुलर सेशन ओके लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन अगला क्वेश्चन आप सभी के सामने है दैट इज ऑन द वर्ल्ड साइट डे वर्ल्ड साइट डे हर साल कौन सी डेट को सेलिब्रेट किया जाता है द डेट ऑन विच वी सेलिब्रेट वर्ल्ड साइट डे इज ऑप्शन डी दैट इज ट्वेल्थ ऑफ अक्टूबर सो माई डियर फ्रेंड नाउ दर क्वेश्चन फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू क्विकली टेल मी दैट वॉट इज अ थीम वॉट इज अ थीम ऑफ द वर्ल्ड साइट डे सो माई डियर फ्रेंड देर इज अ surprise for all of you please tell me what is the theme of the world side day so the theme for the world side day is love your eyes at work jab bhi aap ghar pe kaam kar rahe hain kuch bhi kaam kar rahe hain apni aankhon se pyar kijiye because they are really very important for your life as well so what is the theme that is the love your eyes at work absolutely right my dear friend this is the right answer so now my dear friends as we are talking about the world site day there is another day that is being celebrated absolutely can you tell me the date on which we celebrate the world day against death penalty world day against death penalty what is the date on which we celebrate this date so the world day against the death penalty is being celebrated on 10th of october October absolutely right this is the right answer 10th of October is the right answer moving on to the next question so my dear friends recently the sixth periodic labor force survey annual report has been launched for the period of July 2022 to June 2023 ठीक है तो ये जो PLFS रिपोर्ट आई है काफी इंपॉर्टेंट है आप सभी के लिए ये हमें इंडिकेशन देती है रिगार्डिंग द एम्प्लॉयमेंट स्ट्रक्चर इन इंडिया इट टेल्स अस अबाउट द लेबर फोर्स पार्टिसिपेशन रेट द वर्कर पॉपुलेशन रेशो द अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट द डिफरेंट इंडिकेटर्स ये रिपोर्ट हमें बताती है और इसी इंडिकेटर्स के ऊपर आपके सामने तीन स्टेटमेंट्स मैंशन है एंड आपको बताना है कि कौन सी स्टेटमेंट करेक्ट है विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द पी एल एफ एस सर्वे एनुअल रिपोर्ट पहली स्टेटमेंट इज बेसिकली ऑन द इट इज रिलीज बाय द नेशनल सैंपल सर्वे ऑफिस इसको लॉन्च कौन करता है सी गाइस अगर हमें पीरियोडिक लेबर फोर्स सर्वे निकालना है तो सर्वे निकालने के लिए हमें क्या करना होगा हमें एक ऐसी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन चाहिए होगी जो सैंपल्स को कलेक्ट करे है ना तो सैंपल्स को कलेक्ट करने वाली नेशनल लेवल पे कौन सी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन है नेशनल सैंपल सर्वे ऑफिस ठीक है मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट पार्ट सो सेकेंड स्टेटमेंट स्टेट दैट द रूरल एरियाज के अंदर जो एल है दैट इज द लेबर फोर्स पार्टिसिपेशन रेट वो इंक्रीज हुआ है From 50.7 percent to 55.8 percent in 2022-2023, but let me tell you that this has increased from 50.7 percent to it has increased, but not to 55.8, but to 60.8 percent. That means statement two is absolutely incorrect. Third statement states that unemployment rate has decreased from 5.3 percent in 2017 to 2.4 percent in 2022-23 in the rural areas, and this statement is absolutely right. So right answer here is option A. That is both one and third are correct. Absolutely, I can see here. So Saima has given me the right answer. That is option A. 
बोथ वन एंड थ्री आर करेक्ट सो अगर हम बात करें इसको डिटेल की तो यहां पर इसको रिलीज किया था नेशनल सैंपल सर्वे ऑफिस ने एल एफ पी आर को हमने देखा कि इट वॉज सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्सटी पॉइंट एट परसेंट फॉर ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी थ्री बट वट एक्जैक्टली वॉज द वैल्यू इन द अर्बन एरिया इट वॉज फिफ्टी पॉइंट फोर परसेंट वेन आई टॉक अबाउट द रूरल एरियाज तो वहां पर जो वर्कर पॉपुलेशन रेशो था वो हो गया है फिफ्टी नाइन पॉइंट फोर परसेंट एंड इन द अर्बन एरिया इट हैज इंक्रीज सो अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट रेट बेसिकली डिक्रीज हुआ है रूरल एरियाज के अंदर फ्रॉम 5.3 परसेंट टू 2.4 परसेंट इन 22-23 एंड अर्बन एरियाज के अंदर भी जो हमारा अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट रेट था इट इज रिड्यूस फ्रॉम 7.7 परसेंट टू 5.4 परसेंट माय डियर फ्रेंड दीज आर द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स दैट यू हैव टू कवर फ्रॉम द एग्जाम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू फ्रॉम द पी एल एफ एस सर्वे एंड वी हैव डिस्कस दम इन द डिटेल हेयर लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन सो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज ऑन द वर्ल्ड स्पेस वीक सो माई डियर फ्रेंड्स वर्ल्ड स्पेस वीक is being observed recently and you have to once again tell me that what is the duration of the week and what was the theme of this particular week theek hai we are talking about the world space week hum isko kyon celebrate karte hain to acknowledge the contribution of space sciences agar hum baat kare space sciences ki to yahan par recently isro ne launch kiya tha chandrayaan 3 agar hum baat karte hain chandrayaan 1 ki it was launched in 2008 Chandrayaan 2 it was launched in which year 2019 Chandrayaan 3 launched in 2023 and Chandrayaan 4 jiska naam hai Lupex jisko hum launch karenge along with the JAXA that is the space agency of Japan and my dear friends this will be launched in year 2025 this is expected to be launched in 2025 okay agar hum baat karte hain world space week ki kaun si date ko hum celebrate karte hain it is celebrated on 4 to 10th of October 2023 and what was the theme of the world space week it was space and entrepreneurship that is the right answer absolutely right my dear friends option d is the right answer to this question let's move on to the next question next question is on another joint exercise jiska naam hai chakravat to chakravat my dear friend chakravat kahan par aata hai c ke andar aata hai to yahan par kaun si organization c par kiska rule hai navy ka rule hai indian navy is hosting this but kahan par karegi in which state it will be hosting this particular exercise that will be in uh, indian state of goa theek hai ji goa is also the state which is going to provide the ivf facility to its people free of cost okay to so goa yahan par hame sabse zyada important hai because goa is that particular state which will be the state which will be uh, where the chakravat ex exercise will be conducted and the ivf facility will be provided to the people free of cost in that particular state so my dear friend let's move on to the next question next question is basically on the nobel prize so nobel prize hum padhte hain to nobel prize ki list hamare paas aa chuki hai ab ye question aapke samne sabse zyada important hai because it is really very important to be covered to nobel prizes exams ke andar puche jate hain aur recently ye launch hue hain to it really becomes important from the exam point of view so nobel prize for the physics किसको मिला था और किस लिए मिला था यह आपके लिए याद करना काफी जरूरी है तो फिजिक्स को जो मिला था माय डियर फ्रेंड्स फॉर द फिजिक्स इट वाज बेसिकली फॉर द एक्सपेरिमेंटल मेथड्स दैट जनरेट एटो सेकेंड पल्स ऑफ लाइट फॉर द स्टडी ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन डायनामिक्स अगर फिजिक्स की बात करेंगे तो कौन उसको करेगा किसको मिला है जिसने कि इलेक्ट्रॉन के डायनामिक्स पे काम किया है ठीक है एटो सेकेंड को याद रखिए एटो सेकेंड पल्स ऑफ द लाइट स्टडी ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन डायनामिक्स इन द मैटर ओके सो वॉट आर द नेम ऑफ दीज पर्टिकुलर people who have got this particular part so my dear friends when i talk about the physics just remember one thing physics ke liye nobel prize kisko mila hai is mila hai pfa ko what exactly is the p stands for p stands for pyr f stands for farang and a stands for na okay will you guys be able to remember this part क्या आप सभी याद कर पाएंगे फिजिक्स का नोबेल प्राइज किसको मिला है जस्ट रिमेंबर दिस पार्ट पी एफ ए ओके पायर फ्रेंक एंड and a only this thing is required to be covered from the exam point of view i think this trick will really help you to remember these uh, kind of uh, nobel prizes and let me tell you that at the end of the session you will be able to remember all the nobel prizes agar aapne padha nahi hai ek bar bhi nobel prizes ko i will make sure that you will be able to retain them after the end of this particular session theek hai ji to yahan par baki ke nobel prizes ko bhi hum karenge aane wale session ke andar aane wale part mein abhi iska answer kya hai the right answer is option a okay to physics kiske liye mila hai electron dynamics ki study ke liye mila hai atto second pulses of light ko yaad rakhna hai absolutely right let's move on to the next question next question is on the national postal week 23 so national postal week 23 is being celebrated 
for what exactly was the duration of the national postal week so my dear friends national postal week kab celebrate kiya jata hai 9th october se 13th of october ko let me tell you that jo national postal week hai usme hum har day ko koi na koi day celebrate karte hain what exactly these days are let me tell you that on the 9th october we celebrate the world post day on 10th october we celebrate vitya sashaktikaran divas 11th october we celebrate philately day 12th October we celebrate mails and parcels day and 13th of October we celebrate antyodaya divas so my dear friends these can also be asked in the exam i have mentioned them all of them in this particular part you can just note down all of them from the exam point of view 9th October World Post Day, 10th October Vitya Sashakti Karan Divas, 11th October Philately Day, 12th October Mails and Parcels Day, and the 13th October is Antayodaya Divas. That is the right answer. Absolutely, this is the right part. Let's move on to the next question. Next question is on the theme of the World Mental Health Day, observed on 10th of October. So, my dear friends, World Mental Health Day was celebrated on 10th of October. You have to tell me what is the theme for World Mental Health Day. So, Mental Health Day. If we are talking about the theme, key, it is. मेंटल हेल्थ एक यूनिवर्सल ह्यूमन राइट है सभी का और दैट इज व्हाई मेंटल हेल्थ सभी की अच्छी होनी चाहिए आपकी मेरी और सभी की अच्छी होनी चाहिए सो ऑल द पीपल हु आर बेसिकली जो स्टूडेंट्स नाबार्ड ग्रेड ए की प्रिपरेशन कर रहे हैं आप सभी के लिए एक बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट मैसेज है कि आप अपना माइंडसेट एकदम पॉजिटिव रखिए जितनी अपनी प्रिपरेशन की है उस पर बिलीफ रखिए और खुद को एक पॉजिटिव माइंडसेट में रखिए अपनी मेंटल हेल्थ को बरकरार रखिए ठीक है एंड पॉजिटिव एटीट्यूड इज रियली गोइंग टू हेल्प यू इन really uh, giving your exam in a well versed manner okay so what is the right answer mental health day is a universal human right that is celebrated on 10th of october that is the world mental health day moving on to the next question agla question is basically on the chemistry so chemistry ke liye nobel prize mila hai किसको मिला है मोंगी लुई एंड एलेक्सी को वॉट एग्जैक्टली इज द रीजन दैट वाई दिस पर्टिकुलर केमिस्ट्री प्राइज वॉज बिंग गिवन नॉबल प्राइज इन केमिस्ट्री इस साल किस चीज के लिए दिया है इस साल दिया गया है अगर हम बात करते हैं फिजिक्स की वहां पर हमने याद रखना था एटो सेकेंड्स अगर हम बात करते हैं केमिस्ट्री की तो केमिस्ट्री के लिए हमें क्या याद रखना है दैट इज द क्वांटम डॉट्स ठीक है फॉर द डिस्कवरी एंड सिंथेसिस ऑफ द क्वांटम डॉट्स दिस ईयर द केमिस्ट्री प्राइज द नोबल प्राइज इन द केमिस्ट्री वाज बीइंग गिवन रिसेंटली एब्सोल्युटली दिस इज राइट आंसर ऑप्शन सी आई कैन सी ए रिच रिच रोहित कोजा क्षितिज Tulsi, Swanti, Diksha, all the people have given me the right answer. Well done, my dear friends. Let's move on to the next question. Next question is on the Universal Postal Union, my dear friends. I told you that World Post Day. हमने अभी पढ़ा था कि it is celebrated on 10th of October. Okay? So यहाँ पर आपके सामने question है. Basically, हम जो World Post Day बनाते हैं, it is basically the date. on which we commemorate the anniversary of the establishment of universal postal union to so, universal postal union kis year ke andar establish hua tha let me tell you in the previous year exam trends we have seen that they are moving to the background and that's why this question is really very relevant for all of you to cover from the exam point of view and what is the name of that particular year what is that year in which it was being launched it was 1874 option c 1874 is the right answer absolutely this is the right part okay so here my dear friends sorry it was not the 10th october it was the 9th october theek hai world post day celebrate karte hain 9th october ko theme aapke liye yaad karna kafi zaruri hai what was the theme of the universal sorry the world post day it was together for trust collaborating for a safe and connected future that is the right answer collaborating for a safe and connected future is the theme of the World Post Day, which is celebrated on the 9th of October. Absolutely, this is the right answer. Moving on to the next question. So, next question is basically from the particular conference which has been held. That is the International Research Conference on From Research to Impact Towards Just and Resilient Agri-Food System. आपके सामने question बहुत ही easier line पर है. The question is you have to identify the place where this conference was being held. Is it Mumbai, Bangalore, New Delhi, Hyderabad, or Kolkata? What is the place where this particular conference was been held the place where the conference was been held is new delhi okay option c new delhi is the right answer absolutely all the people have given me the right answer well done my dear friends so here let's move on to the 30th question of our today's session we all know that we have recently celebrated indian air force day on the 8th of october on 8th october we celebrate indian air force day you have to tell me that what is the theme for indian air force day let me tell you my dear friends in the month of october we have seen lot many days which are being uh, there in the news so we have to cover all of them so indian air force day 8th october ko celebrate hota hai what was the theme the theme for the indian air force day this year was iaf air power beyond boundaries hamari jo power hai boundaries uski koi boundary nahi hai jitni bhi boundaries agar hai bhi to uske beyond tak hamari power jani chahiye so that is why the right answer is option c iaf 
the air power beyond boundaries and this is the right part now my dear friends a uh, googly question for all of you recently china open has been held can you tell me the name of the person who has won the men's singles title so men's singles title kisne jeeta tha china open ka recently it was been held let me tell you or uh, give you a hint that it uh, the person is basically from the italy so italy ke janik sinner italy ke janik sinner ne jeeta hai china open theek hai men's singles title event china open kisne jeeta hai italy absolutely this is the right answer apart from that a qatar gp was also been held my dear so qatar gp bhi recently hua tha qatar gp qatar grand prix can anybody tell me the name of the person who has won this qatar grand prix so let me i am waiting for a response in the chat box qatar grand prix it was held in which or uh, it was won by which player it was won by the red bull driver मैक्स वस्तापन ओके मैक्स वस्तापन ने इसको जीता है रेडबुल के ड्राइवर हैं कतर जीपी कतर ग्रैंड प्रिक्स इज द राइट आंसर एब्सोल्युटली राइट गायत्री दैट इज द राइट पार्ट एब्सोल्युटली राइट माय डियर फ्रेंड्स अगर एक और चीज में बात करें सो माय डियर फ्रेंड्स रिसेंटली इंटरनेशनल ओलंपिक कमेटी ठीक है इंटरनेशनल ओलंपिक कमेटी ने रिसेंटली एक ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के साथ एमओयू साइन किया है एंड विद दिस पर्टिकुलर एमओयू दे आर ट्राइंग टू promote the olympic value education in india and that is why the program hai kiska that is oveep that is the olympic value education program aur isko promote kiya jayega india ke andar and for this particular part there is an organization just hai which has basically signed this mou with the international olympic committee the name of the organization is reliance foundation रिलायंस फाउंडेशन ने यह एमओयू साइन किया है इंटरनेशनल ओलंपिक कमेटी के साथ एब्सोल्युटली दिस इज राइट पार्ट सो माय डियर फ्रेंड लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज ऑन द 16th एग्रीकल्चरल साइंस कांग्रेस तो 16th एग्रीकल्चरल साइंस कांग्रेस रिसेंटली हुई थी आपके लिए इस क्वेश्चन है कि कहां पर हुई थी अ क्वेश्चन व्हिच कैन बी आस्क्ड इन द नाबार्ड ग्रेड एग्जाम सो इट वाज इनॉग्रेटेड बाय द यूनियन मिनिस्टर फॉर फिशरीज एनिमल हस्बेंड्री एंड द डेयरिंग यू हैव टू टेल मी द प्लेस वेयर इट वाज हेल्ड we are talking about the 16th agriculture science congress which was held in kochi kerala that is the right answer kerala my dear friend the first state to adopt the water budget in india kerala is also the first state the first one to adopt the robotic scavengers to clean the manholes and the name of the robot was bandi koot kerala is the first state which has got the india's first water metro in kochi kerala is the first state in india to get the atal innovation center for fisheries in kufos and kerala is also the first state in india to have the india's first ai school so my dear friend that was all that you are required to remember from here i, I believe ki jis tarike se humne map down kiya hai in sabhi details ko regarding the kerala isse pehle humne madhya pradesh ko kiya tha usse pehle humne chandrayaan ko kiya tha aap sabhi ke liye kafi zaruri hai ki aap in sabhi cheezon ko yaad rakhe from the exam point of view let's move on to the next question agla question aap sabhi ke samne hai the question is on the world hydrogen and fuel cell day and you have to tell me the date on which we celebrate the world hydrogen and fuel cell day what exactly is the date on which we celebrate this World Hydrogen and Fuel Cell Day. It is celebrated on 8th of October every year. That is the right answer. Next question. Next question is on the Nobel Prize in Literature 23. So, my dear friends, Nobel Prize in Literature 23. The person has been provided this award has been awarded with this Nobel Prize for the innovative plays and prose. So, what is the right answer? इट इज बेसिकली सी वाइज बचपन में हम क्या करते थे बचपन में हम एक पोएम पढ़ते थे इंग्लिश में दैट इज द जॉनी जॉनी एस पापा ठीक है तो यहां पर अगर हम बात करते हैं वो लिटरेचर में काउंट होगी इंग्लिश की पोएम थी तो यहां पर किसको मिला है ये प्राइस किसको मिला है द प्राइस हैज बिन वन बाई जॉनी दैट इज जॉन फॉज जॉन फॉज हैज गॉट दिस पर्टिकुलर प्राइस विल यू बी एबल टू रिमेंबर दिस डिटेल विल यू बी एबल टू रिमेंबर विल दिस ट्रिक विल हेल्प यू आउट इन रिमेंबरिंग द नॉवल प्राइज इन लिटरेचर एज विल Absolutely right, my dear friend. That is the John Fos. John Fos is the right answer. Option C, John Fos is the right answer. Absolutely. Let me tell you that I will be giving you the all the tricks for the Nobel Prize winners. Okay? आने वाले जो हमारे topics हैं उसके अंदर हम सभी Nobel Prize winners को cover करेंगे in detail. And I will be telling you a very simple trick. And you will be seeing that yes, after the end of the session, you will be able to retain all such kind of Nobel Prize winners. So, my dear friends, you can see here in this particular part. तो यहां पर आप देख सकते हैं कि आपके सामने सभी विनर्स दिए गए हैं ठीक है फिजिक्स फिजियोलॉजी 
और मेडिसन केमिस्ट्री लिटरेचर पीस एंड द इकोनॉमिक साइंसेस तो इसको कैसे याद रखना है आई टोल्ड यू फॉर द फिजिक्स सीखे माई डियर फ्रेंड्स आई टोल्ड यू फॉर द फिजिक्स लेट मी गिव यू स्मॉल हिंट एंड यू विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड ऑल ऑफ दैम ओके अगर हम बात करते हैं फिजिक्स की फॉर द फिजिक्स आई टोल्ड यू दैट यू हैव टू रिमेंबर पी एफ ए ओके दैट आई टोल्ड यू पायर पेरिंग एंड एन ए वेन आई टॉक अबाउट द नेक्स्ट पार्ट दैट इज अ केमिस्ट्री सो प्लीज एक चीज याद रखिए कि केमिस्ट्री के अंदर हमारे एम एल ए को मिला है नॉबल प्राइज है ना एम एल ए एम एल ए दैट इज मोंगी लुई एंड एलेक्जी मोंगी लुई एलेक्जी दैट इज एम एल ए केमिस्ट्री के लिए मिला है एम एल ए को लिटरेचर के लिए किसको मिला है जॉनी को मिला है दैट इज जॉन फॉस ठीक है अगर हम बात करते हैं पीस पीस से पहले अगर हम बात करते हैं इकोनॉमिक्स की इकोनॉमिक्स की माई डियर फ्रेंड्स इकोनॉमिक्स में गोल्ड मेडल जीता है किसने जीता है क्लॉडिन गोल्डन ने इकोनॉमिक्स के लिए गोल्ड मेडल याद रखिएगा दैट इज क्लॉडिन गोल्डन अगर हम बात करते हैं फिजियोलॉजी और मेडिसिन की सो माई डियर फ्रेंड्स अगर हम बात करें फिजियोलॉजी और मेडिसिन की तो मुझे बताइए कि अगर किसी को फिजियोलॉजी और मेडिसिन करनी है तो कहा जाएगा वाइज मैन के पास जाएगा ठीक है किसी ऐसे रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट में जाएगा जहां पर बहुत ही वाइज लोग बैठे हैं जो जिन्होंने की पूरा का पूरा अच्छा करिकुलम बनाया है तो उसके लिए कौन है करिको एंड वाइजमैन ठीक है तो फिजियोलॉजी एंड मेडिसिन के लिए है फिजियोलॉजी और मेडिसिन अगर करनी है फिजियोलॉजी मेडिसिन करनी है तो कहां जाएगा वाइजमैन के पास जाएगा एंड एक चीज आपको याद रखनी है दैट इज बेसिकली पीस पीस के लिए नाम याद रखिए दैट इज नरगिस मोहम्मदी ठीक है जी तो यहां पर हमने कवर कर लिया है फिर से हम देखते हैं अपने मेन पेज पर फिजिक्स के लिए व्हाट यू हैव टू रिमेंबर पी एफ ए पायर फेरेंक एन ठीक है पायर फेरेंक एंड एन आई होप इट विल बी वेरी इजी फॉर यू टू रिमेंबर अगर हम बात करते हैं फिजियोलॉजी और मेडिसिन तो फिजियोलॉजी और मेडिसिन करने के लिए किसके पास जाएंगे वाइजमैन के पास जाएंगे दैट इज कैटलिन कैरिको एंड ड्रू वाइजमैन अगर हम बात करते हैं केमिस्ट्री की तो केमिस्ट्री किसको मिला है केमिस्ट्री के लिए एमएलए को मिला है मोंगी लुई एंड एलेक्जी लिटरेचर के लिए जॉनी जॉनी दैट इज जॉन पीस के लिए मिला है नरगिस मोहम्मदी को अगर हम बात करते हैं इकोनॉमिक साइंसेस की तो उसके लिए याद रखिए गोल्ड मेडल दैट इज क्लॉडिया गोल्डन आई होप दैट ऑल ऑफ यू आर वेरी मच क्लियर टू ऑल ऑफ यू विद दीज काइंड ऑफ ट्रिक्स फॉर द नॉबल प्राइज विनर्स सो प्लीज टेल मी Uh, if you have liked this particular trick please give me a thumbs up in the chat box that you yes you will be able to remember all of them will you guys be able to remember all of them from the exam point of view i am waiting for your responses my dear friends okay that's really great that all of you will be able to remember them from the exam point of view see in this simple manner you can just remember these nobel prize winner awards agar hum baat karte hain nobel prize ki ek international award hai jisko administer kiya jata hai by the nobel foundation aur ye kahan par hai stockholm sweden ke andar hai which is based on the fortune of alfred nobel a swedish inventor and entrepreneur absolutely right my dear friends this is the right part but the apne agle question ki taraf let's finish all the remaining questions in a quick manner to so, kaun sa digital banking application recently लॉन्च किया था इंडस एंड बैंक ने अंडर विच इट इज गोइंग टू प्रोवाइड अ सूट ऑफ अडेप्टेबल फाइनेंशियल सोल्यूशन विच आर टेलर टू द इंडिविजुअल क्लाइंट रिक्वायरमेंट वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन इंडस एंड बैंक अगर अपना कोई ऐप लॉन्च करेगा तो वो किस नाम से करेगा वहां पर इंडस एंड का एंड तो रखेगा सो दैट इज वाई द राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ई दैट इज इंडी ऑप्शन ई इंडी इज द राइट आंसर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन तो डेप्यूटी प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ मलेशिया हेज इनग्रेटेड इंडियन रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी डेवलपमेंट एजेंसी पेविलियन ये जो पेविलियन कहां पर इनोग्रेट हुआ है एट द एटो जीरो एशियन समिट ये समिट कौन सी जगह पर हुई है दैट इज द क्वेश्चन फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू एट विच प्लेस दिस पर्टिकुलर समिट हैज टेकन प्लेस द समिट वॉज बी टेकन प्लेस इन द क्वाला लुम्पुर इन मलेशिया एंड दैट इज एब्सोल्यूटली द राइट आंसर नॉम आइडिया फ्रेंड देर इज अ गुगली क्वेश्चन फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू सी द क्वेश्चन इज बेसिकली रिसेंटली वर्ल्ड फर्स्ट ग्रीन बॉन्ड स्टैंडर्ड हैज बीन लॉन्च इन वर्ल्ड का सबसे पहला ग्रीन बॉन्ड स्टैंडर्ड लॉन्च किया गया है फॉर द कंपनीज जो कि ग्रीन बॉन्ड्स को इश्यू करती हैं सो दैट कि वो सस्टेनेबल कंपनीज को अच्छे से पिक कर सके ठीक है तो इसको किसने अप्रूव किया है कौन सा वो रीजन है जिसने इसको अप्रूव किया है कौन सा वो ब्लॉक है जिसने इसको अप्रूव किया है दैट इज यूरोपियन यूनियन 
So my dear friends, European Union is the right answer. Absolutely right. European Union is the right answer. That is option E. Moving on to the next question. So the next question of everyone is the Nobel Peace Prize. Nobel Peace Prize recently awarded to who person was awarded to and for her fight against the oppression of women in which country and her fight to promote human rights. So what is the name of the person and what is the name of that country? The name of the person is Nargis Mohammadi and the name of the country is Iran. Where women's के ऑपरेशन के लिए यहां पर जो वहां पे विमेंस को ऑपरेस किया जाता है उनके राइट्स के लिए वहां पर फाइट किया था उस पर्सन है जिनका नाम है नरगिस मोहम्मदी एब्सोल्युटली दिस इज द राइट आंसर मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन सो एआरएआई ने रिसेंटली एक एमओयू साइन किया है विद in order to establish the common engineering facility center so this MOU sign under which they will be establishing the common engineering facility center this MOU is with IIT and which organization is with IIT that is what you have to identify here so the name of that particular organization with which this MOU has been signed for the establishment of CEFC that is IIT Guwahati okay we have already covered IIT Madras IIT Madras is where first foreign campus is made Tanzania ke andar banai gi IIT Delhi apna first foreign campus kaha banai gi Abu Dhabi ke andar banai gi so with this we have covered these two news articles as well so let's move on to the next question my dear friend but before that you can see here that this common engineering facility center will be established under the capital goods scheme phase 2 of the ministry of heavy industries and this will enable Samarth Udyog Bharat 4.0 for the benefit of the industry at large and it is also going to help MSMEs and the startups so this was all that we have to cover from here let's move on to the next question next question is on the Sagar Parikrama so Sagar Parikrama is a program which was launched the government of India ne, under which they were basically it was been launched to understand the issues of the fishermen community in India this program was launched in 2022 and this time in the month of October phase 9 of this program has been launched you have to tell me the name of the state and the name of the UT where this particular program has been launched for the phase 9 the phase 9 of the Sagar Parikrama has been launched in Tamil Nadu and Puducherry. So my dear friends, it is basically option A is the right answer. That is Tamil Nadu and Puducherry is the right answer. Do not worry, I will be correcting that in the PDF as well. The right answer here is Tamil Nadu and Puducherry. Okay, if we talk about our previous first eight phases, in the first eight phases, which states and unit territories cover covered in our states? It includes Gujarat, Diu and Daman, Maharashtra, Goa, Karnataka, Kerala, Puducherry and Andama and Nicobar. So my dear friend, that is absolutely the right part. So let's move on to the next question. Next question is basically on the Nobel Prize for the Economic Sciences. So Economic Sciences के लिए जो Nobel Prize दिया गया है वो इस बार किसको मिला है? तो Economic Sciences के लिए हमें क्या याद रखना है? Please tell me in the chat box. Economic Sciences के लिए हमें याद रखना है Gold Medal. Gold Medal किसको मिला है? Claudia Golden को मिला है. The right answer is option D. Claudia Golden is the right answer. Next question. Next question is on the PM Swanidhi. So my dear friends, PM Swanidhi scheme, which is a micro credit scheme for urban street vendors, so it has achieved its target of covering dash amount of street vendors, which has exceeded total value of 8600 crore. And the question in front of you is, what exactly is that particular value of the target which has been achieved by the PM Swanidhi? Is it 10 lakh, 25 lakh, 50 lakh, 75 lakh or the 60 lakh? That is what you have to identify. PM Swanidhi ke agar hum baat kare hai, I will be discussing this scheme in a detailed manner. Before that, I want the answer from all of you, what is the right answer? So PM Swanidhi, jo ek micro credit scheme hai, urban street vendors ke liye, usne target achieve kiya hai, 50 lakh street vendors ka. Agar hum baat kare hai, scheme ki isko launch kiya tha, year 2020 ke andar, by the Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. Take a Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs ne launch kiya tha, is scheme ko 2020 ke andar, jiska tenure hor hai till, December 2024 and when I talk about this scheme this is a central sector scheme this has been launched to provide the collateral free working capital loan to the street vendor so that वो अपने businesses को start कर सके which was impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic ठीक है तो हमने यहाँ पर major details को cover कर लिया है of the PM Swanidhi scheme बढ़ते हैं अब अपने अगले question की तरफ next question is basically on so my dear friends, recently, our Ministry of Railways has launched our trains at a glance. 
वॉट इज दिस डॉक्यूमेंट दिस इज एन ऑल इंडिया रेलवे टाइम टेबल तो हमारी रेलवे का नया टाइम टेबल लॉन्च हो चुका है जिसका नाम है ट्रेन सेट अग्लांस एंड इट इज बीन रिलीज बाय द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ रेलवे आपके सामने क्वेश्चन है कि वो किस डेट से यहां पर लागू होगा कौन से डेट से वो इफेक्टिव होगा सो द डेट फ्रॉम विच इट विल बी इफेक्टिव इज फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट ऑफ अक्टूबर ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड दैट इज द राइट आंसर तो फर्स्ट अक्टूबर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री से ये हमारा स्टार्ट हो जाएगा एब्सोल्यूटली दिस इज द राइट पार्ट Let's move on to the next question, my dear friends. Next question is on the World Animal Day. So, World Animal Day, which date do we celebrate? We celebrate World Animal Day celebrated on 4th of October every year. Okay. Now, in front of you is a question that you have to tell me the name of the airport which has become the first airport in Asia, which has commissioned the Disabled Aircraft Recovery Kit. Ko. So, my dear friends, this first Asian airport which has recently commissioned the Disabled Aircraft recovery kit. What is the name of that particular airport? Let me give you a small hint that it is a Mumbai airport. Now I think it will be very easy for you to tell me the right answer. It is Chhatrapati Shivaji Airport. Absolutely right. This is the right part. All the people have given me the right answer. That is Chhatrapati Shivaji Airport. But the next question ki taraf, the question is on the India Japan fund. So, my dear friends, in this part, you have to identify that which of the following statements are correct with respect to India-Japan fund. So, three statements are mentioned here. You have to identify that what exactly is the statement which is correct as per the India-Japan fund. So, the first statement you have to see is that this fund hai, it is a $600 million fund which launched by NIIF. Ne. Agar hum baat karte is fund ki management ki, isko manage kiya jayega by the JBIC and ये NIF का पहला बायोलेटरल फंड है जिसमें गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया की कंट्रीब्यूशन रहने वाली है 49 परसेंट ऑफ द टारगेट कॉर्पस और जो रिमेनिंग 51 परसेंट रहेगा वो रहेगा JBIC का कंट्रीब्यूशन ठीक है आपको आइडेंटिफाई करना है कि कौन सी वो स्टेटमेंट है जो कि करेक्ट है सो माय डियर फ्रेंड लेट मी टेल यू दैट द सेकंड स्टेटमेंट इट स्टेट्स कि जो फंड है उसको मैनेज करेगा जेबीआईसी बट लेट मी टेल यू दैट इट विल बी मैनेजड बाय एन सो वॉट विल बी द राइट आंसर द राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन Basically, both statement one and three are correct. So, right answer is option A. That is only one and three are correct. Absolutely right. I can see here Rohit, Roja, Tulsi, Swanti, Richard H, Tulsi, Roja. All the people have given me the right answer. That is option A. Both one and three are correct. So, यहाँ पर आप देख सकते हैं बाकी सारी important details. We have already covered that from the exam point of view in the question itself. आप इसको अपने लिए बचाकर रख सकते हैं. आप इसको बाद में खुद से कवर कर सकते हैं ठीक है बिकॉज आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस ऑल द इंपॉर्टेंट डिटेल्स फ्रॉम दिस पर्टिकुलर स्लाइड लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन सो डीपीआईटी अंडर द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ कॉमर्स एंड इंडस्ट्री उन्होंने एक एमओयू साइन किया है विद वन ऑफ दीज ऑर्गेनाइजेशन अंडर विच दे विल बी एडवांसिंग इंडिया इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एंड द लॉजिस्टिक सेक्टर और इस एमओयू के अंदर एक नोडल एजेंसी को भी यहां पर सेट किया गया है आपको बताना है कि ये जो एमओ यू साइन हुआ है और ये जो नोडल एजेंसी है लेट मी टेल यू माई डियर फ्रेंड दैट बोथ दीज ऑर्गेनाइजेशन आर एब्सोल्यूटली द सेम यू हैव टू टेल मी वॉट एग्जैक्टली इज द नेम ऑफ दैट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन लेट मी टेल यू दैट इट इज अ फर्स्ट रेलवे यूनिवर्सिटी एंड दैट इज अ गति शक्ति विश्वविद्यालय ऑप्शन सी इज द राइट आंसर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन सो यूनियन कैबिनेट ने रिसेंटली अप्रूव किया है द इंट्रोडक्शन इन द पार्लियामेंट अ बिल दैट इज द सेंट्रल यूनिवर्सिटीज अमेंडमेंट बिल विच विल बी अमेंडिंग द सेंट्रल यूनिवर्सिटीज एक्ट ये जो सेंट्रल यूनिवर्सिटी एक्ट है ये कौन से ईयर का एक्ट है दैट इज वॉट वी हैव टू कवर फ्रॉम हेयर सो वॉट एक्जैक्टली इज दैट ईयर जिसका ये एक्ट था सेंट्रल यूनिवर्सिटीज एक्ट दैट इज 2009 थाउजेंड ऑप्शन सी 2009 थाउजेंड नाइन इज राइट आंसर सो हेर यू कैन सी अंडर दिस पर्टिकुलर पार्ट वॉट दे विल बी डूइंग दे विल बी सेटिंग अप और समक्का सरक का सेंट्रल ट्राइबल यूनिवर्सिटी प्लीज माई डियर फ्रेंड्स मार्क दिस नंबर हेव दैट द समक्का सरक का सेंट्रल ट्राइबल यूनिवर्सिटी विल बी सेटअप इन द इंडियन स्टेट ऑफ तेलंगाना एज अ पार्ट ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर बिल आई बिलीव दिस इज वेरी मच क्लियर टू ऑल ऑफ यू Let's move on to the next question. Agla question, my dear friends, it is on the bike expedition that is the Yashaswini. So Yashaswini को recently launch किया था CRPF ने आपको बताना है. इसको organize कौन कौन से organization ने किया है? जैसे कि मैंने कहा कि CRPF है. So CRPF is there, but what exactly is the name of the other organization or the ministry which has involved its contribution for the Yashaswini bike expedition? And the name of that organization is Ministry of Women and Child Development. Here, option D is the right answer. Let's move on to the next question. So a capacity building master training program, which we call F4S, which stands for F. फुटबॉल फॉर स्कूल तो फुटबॉल फॉर स्कूल नाम का एक प्रोग्राम यहां पर लॉन्च किया गया है एंड रिसेंटली उसको एक स्टेट से लॉन्च किया था वॉट इज द नेम ऑफ दैट स्टेट लेट मी गिव यू स्मॉल हिंट दैट इट इज दैट स्टेट जहां पर हम सेलिब्रेट करते हैं नुआखाई जुहार फेस्टिवल 
वट इज द नेम ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर स्टेट इट इज उड़ीसा एब्सोल्यूटली उड़ीसा इज द राइट आंसर सो यहां पर हम देख सकते हैं अगर हम बात करते हैं एफ फोर एस की तो बेसिकली माई डियर फ्रेंड्स इंडिया के अंदर एफ ओ एस को इनिशिएट किया था फीफा ने और फीफा का ये एक एम्बिशियस प्रोग्राम है जिसको फीफा खुद अपने आप रन करता है एंड माई डियर फ्रेंड्स अगर हम बात करें इंडिया की तो इंडिया के अंदर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ स्कूल एजुकेशन एंड लिटरेसी के साथ स्पोर्ट्स अथॉरिटी ऑफ इंडिया और ऑल इंडिया फुटबॉल फेडरेशन मिलकर इस प्रोग्राम को इंप्लीमेंट करते हैं इन इंडिया and it basically contributes to the education development and empowerment of around 700 million children and that's what all the important information that you have to cover for the football for schools which has been recently launched in the indian state of odisha absolutely this is the right part let's move on to the next question so my dear friend the question is on the prime minister has announced the setting up of a national turmeric board national turmeric board ko recently ek state ke andar launch kiya gaya tha you have to tell me ki kaun si state ke andar isko launch kiya jane wala hai so let me tell you that this particular state is the one jahan par is bar ka yog mahotsav initiate hua tha it is a state where the wings india event was also being launched what is the name of that particular state it is the same state which has launched the india's first cool roof policy to india ki pehli cool roof policy ko kisne launch kiya hai that is absolutely option This e that is Telangana. Telangana is the right answer. The Chamik Board hai kya karega? It will be providing the necessary infrastructure support, value addition, research facility, and help in the exports in a professional manner. So this is all from this particular news article. Absolutely right. Let's move on to the next question. So here, my dear friends, you are required to tell me the name of that particular UT, which has 100% villages recently, which has achieved kiya hai ODF plus status. Agar hum baat karte ODF. प्लस स्टेटस मॉडल की तो उसके लिए तीन स्टेजेस को हमें कवर करना पड़ता है आई विल बी कवरिंग दैट एज वेल बट बिफोर दैट यू हैव टू टेल मी द नेम ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर यूटी जिसने कि रिसेंटली इसको अचीव किया है एंड इट इज नन अदर देन जम्मू एंड कश्मीर अगर मैं बात करूं माइडियर फ्रेंड्स इसकी तो अगर किसी विलेज को अचीव करना है ओडीएफ प्लस मॉडल स्टेटस तो उसको थ्री स्टेजेस को कवर करना होगा एंड दीज थ्री स्टेजेस आर एस्पायरिंग राइजिंग एंड द मॉडल सो दीज आर द्री स्टेजेस दैट दे आर रियली रिक्वायर टू कवर in order to get this particular status so daman uh, sorry the jammu and kashmir is the right answer to this question and now we are moving towards the last question of our today's session and the last question is on the military nursing service so military service ne apna 98th raising day recently celebrate kiya hai on which date it was being done that is what you have to tell me in the comment section please mujhe bataiye jaldi se chat box ke andar kya hai iska sahi answer what is the right answer to this part So, my dear friend, the right answer to this particular question is basically option A. That is first of October, on which we celebrate the 98th raising day of military nursing services. Absolutely, this is the right answer. So, my dear friend, जाने से पहले एक बार फिर से Nobel prizes को cover कर लेते हैं because it is really very important. अगर हम बात करते हैं physics की, अब आप मुझे बताएंगे कि क्या है इस question का सही answer. Nobel prize के लिए हमें क्या याद रखना है? Nobel prize in the physics was being given to which people? Please quickly tell me in the chat box for the physics. for the physics what we have to remember we have to remember p f a pyer farang and an absolutely this is the right part when i talk about the chemistry to chemistry ke liye nobel prize kisko mila hai can you tell me can you tell me the name of those people who have got the chemistry prize nobel prize in the chemistry it has been given to m l a mongi lui and alexi mongi lui alexi is the right answer now when i talk about the literature literature ke liye prize kisko mila hai johnny johnny john foss Absolutely, this is the right part. When I talk about the economics, economics के लिए किसको मिला है? Economics के लिए क्या याद रखना है? हमें gold medal याद रखना है. That is Claudia Golden. Claudia Golden is the right answer. Absolutely. Let's move on to the next question. तो अगर हम बात करते हैं physiology और medicine, तो physiology और medicine अगर किसी को करना है, तो किसके पास जाएगा? Wiesman के पास जाएगा. That is Kathleen Carrico and Drew Wiesman. That is the right answer. अब बढ़ता है अपना लास्ट ऑप्शन दैट इज द पीस प्राइस तो माय डियर फ्रेंड्स पीस प्राइस अगर हम बात करें पीस प्राइस किसको मिला है दैट इज नरगिस मोहम्मदी सो हियर वी हैव कवर्ड वंस अगेन द नोबल प्राइजेस अवार्ड एंड आई बिलीव कि ऑल ऑफ यू हैव रियली रिमेंबर्ड देम एंड इट इज रियली वेरी इजी फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू टू रिमेंबर दीज नोबल प्राइजेस अगर आपको ये सभी जो ट्रिक्स हैं पसंद आई है तो प्लीज मैंशन दैट इन द चैट बॉक्स इन द कमेंट सेक्शन ऑफ द सेशन सेशन के बाद कमेंट सेशन कमेंट सेक्शन के अंदर जरूर कमेंट करके बताइएगा मुझे कि अगर आपको ये सभी ट्रिक्स पसंद आई हैं एंड द वे वी हैव कवर्ड ऑल दीज न्यूज आर्टिकल्स विद वन अनदर 
which are really required to be covered from the exam point of view okay so my dear friends now it's a time that you should tell me your scores out of 50 so what exactly your score out of 50 in this particular session please tell me in the comment section because it is really very very important for all of you to analyze your scores स्कोर से आइडेंटिफाई करना है कि आपके वीक एरियाज क्या हैं और स्ट्रॉन्ग एरियाज क्या हैं वीक एरियाज को स्ट्रॉन्ग एरियाज में कन्वर्ट कीजिए एंड यू आर रियली गोइंग टू रॉक इन द एग्जाम सो माय डियर फ्रेंड्स इफ यू आर स्टिल न्यू टू योर यूट्यूब चैनल काइंडली सब्सक्राइब इट एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन टू रिसीव ऑल द लेटेस्ट अपडेट ऑफ द कोर्सेज एंड वीडियोज ऑफर्ड बाई अस और आज के सेशन का पी जो स्टूडेंट्स पूछ रहे थे लेट मी टेल यू दैट आज के सेशन का पी आपको मिलेगा टेलीग्राम चैनल पर टेलीग्राम चैनल को ज्वाइन करने के लिए लिंक आपके सामने डिस्क्रिप्शन में दिया गया है सो प्लीज मेक श्योर दैट यू आर ज्वाइनिंग द टेलीग्राम चैनल टू गेट द पी डी एफ ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर सेशन ओके सो माई डियर फ्रेंड्स दैट वॉज ऑल फ्रॉम द टूडे सेशन एंड नाउ इट्स द टाइम फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू टू आस्क योर क्वेरीज अगर आज के सेशन से रिलेटेड आपकी कोई भी क्वेरीज है आप मुझे बताइए चैट बॉक्स के अंदर वट एग्जैक्टली दीज आर एंड आई विल डेफिनेटली बी वेरी हैप्पी टू आंसर दोज क्वेरीज एंड अगर आप सभी इस सेशन का रिकॉर्डेड पार्ट देख रहे हैं तो यू कैन जस्ट आस्क योर क्वेरीज इन द कमेंट सेक्शन ऑफ द सेशन एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो रेज योर क्वेरीज एंड शेयर द क्वेरीज एट हेलो एट द रेट एडिटैप डॉट कॉ डॉट इन एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो कॉल एस एट So Tulsi basically this was the GA class for all of you for the month of October in which we have really really covered all the important things that are really required to be covered from the exam point of view So this particular session was already taken for the revision of the October 2023 current affairs and we have tried our best ki jitne bhi major news articles the jo aapke exam ke liye bhi even important hai for the people who are preparing for the nabad exam they can also refer to this session for the october 2023 current affairs okay so i believe that i have answered your query tulsi apart from that my dear friends uh, we will also be coming up with another session for the october 2023 in the upcoming week so do not worry about it so thank you ritika for your kind words that the nobel prize tricks were really helpful you can also mention the in the comment section it will be really great so i can see here that uh, most of the queries have already been answered and my dear friends still if there are any queries in your mind please feel free to share your queries in the comment section of the session and i will be there answering your queries in the comment section okay I believe that today's session was really useful and fruitful to all of you and all the people my dear friends who are preparing for the NABAD who are going to appear in the NABAD grade exam please uh from the whole team of EduTap we wish you all the best for your exam and I believe that your preparation is really going to work wonders for you and you will definitely get your selection in the NABAD grade exam So Neha basically uh GA static see uh, the questions that are really very important uh, from the exam point of view jo static part se puche ja sakte hain like i told you about the universal postal union when it was established so all such kind of things we have already covered in the session only okay so there is no such kind of any other thing that you have to cover apart from that jo countries aapke samne news mein aati hain recently to unke aapko pata rehne chahiye ki that what exactly are the currency what is the capital of those particular countries because they are also probable to be asked in the exam so i can see here that the queries which are there in the chat box have already been answered so my dear friends it was really great for me to have all of you who have participated in this particular session you guys have really made it the uh, made the session really useful and successful so if still you are having any queries you can mention your queries in the comment section and i will be meeting the next section till then stay happy stay healthy and another important point my dear friends that we at edutap are going to take the maha marathon session which will be conducted tomorrow only and in that particular session a proper revision will be done for the nabad grade exam so agar aap nabad ki taiyari kar rahe hain so do join the session tomorrow on our youtube channel of the edutap so my dear friend that was all from the today's session we will be meeting you in the next session till then stay happy stay healthy wish you all happy learning